Hey, what's up guys? So in today's video, we're gonna be changing the low beam headlights or the bulbs that are in them um, for the stock halogens to HIDs or maybe even LEDs. I have both kits, but I'm gonna see which one works uh, before reassembling it. So the stock ones are pretty crappy. They're just uh, halogen bulbs. So we're gonna go ahead and change those out. I got the hood open, pop those out. Uh, I gotta take the grill off and basically get in from the back here um, to those access panels just so I can get the headlights out and then we'll uh, go from there. Okay, first things first, we'll take off this plastic thing. It's just a bunch of these speed clips here. So basically just pry them up, try not to break anything because this thing is pretty flimsy and so are those clips. So let's pry this out, get this out so we can take the grill off. Okay, now that that's out of the way, there's four screws, um, 10 millimeter bolts on the top of the uh, grill. So one, two, three, and four. So we'll take those out and then this grill should pop out. Okay, so when you're removing the grill, um, there's these two kind of speed clips here on each side, one here and one down here. So you kind of have to put your hand in behind. Once you take out the top four bolts, put your hand in behind and kind of just push it out from the bottom because you can't just pry it from the top, otherwise you'll snap these off. So you gotta kind of put your hand in behind and then kick it out from the bottom here, just to release these tabs. Once you get one side out, you can kind of open it like this and then the other side will clip out. So that one's done, basically. Now we have these 10 millimeter bolts on the headlight, which is the reason why we had to take the grill off. So one here, one there. And then we have inside here, uh, this panel where there's that, uh, I'll show you in a second, there's basically a, a bar that you have to grab and pull down. Okay, so the headlights out. This is the clip that I was talking about that you can't really see from, uh, from anywhere else. So basically it's this lever that you open this access panel um, it's just one uh, speed clip basically, but you open this access panel here, stick your hand in, and you reach for this. So when it is in the down position, it locks through here, and you basically have to push it up so that it hits this bigger opening here, um, and it allows the headlight to come out. And there's also a speed clip here, so you kind of have to pop it out, but it's not too much force, but the main thing is just releasing this locking tab here. So, and then of course, take off the clip from the headlight, just um, pull this back and then pull it on from there. And here is the headlight. So let's go ahead and take out these screws. They look like eight millimeters. And there's one, two, three, four, five of them. So let's take out these five eight mils and then we can get to the bulb. Okay, so this is what we got here. Um, basically, we took the old bulb out, which on this one with the projector beam is a 9,012. Uh, most kits that you're gonna get are 9,006 kits. So um, I wanted to see if the kit that I had for the fogs that um, you guys can check out the other video, but it's the Hikari LED kit. I was curious if it was gonna have enough clearance um, with the LED and then this cover. It actually fits perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this. I do have an HID kit. But um, if this fits, these are hell of a lot brighter. So I'm gonna retire the HID kit to the fogs and put this Hikari kit up here. So everything seems to fit because it's a lot nicer because if I have to do the HID kit, I have to drill a hole in this cover to allow everything to come out and then the ballast mount all that crap everywhere. But with this, there's actually enough room inside here that I can stuff all this stuff inside. This is the CAN bus decoder. So here's the CAN bus decoder. And then obviously this little, uh, power uh, pack that they have with it that goes with the LED. So um, let's go ahead and try this. Um, I'm not gonna fully put it together, but I just wanna try it with the truck turned on and make sure it doesn't throw any codes or anything. So let's go ahead and just roughly throw this on and see what happens. Okay, so there's everything stuffed inside. It fits nicely. I'm not too jammed or anything like that, so. You guys can't give me shit for that, but basically it fits pretty nice, and let's go ahead and throw it on the truck. Okay, so here it is. It does work, so this is a stock one. 
you can see it's just that white yellowish bulb here on the low beam not that bright and this is with those akari leds you can see how just insanely bright those things are plus they look pretty nice too so i'm super happy that those fit um let's go ahead and pop this back out because we still have to put this cover on the back and then we can go ahead and get started with the other side Okay, once you get those two bolts in on the front, reach in here, grab that weird ass thing that's up top here, and pull it down, you hear it click, and that's it. Let's move on to the driver's side. Same thing on this side, just take out those two bolts and move that clip and this thing will pop out. Let's take this cover off and put in the LED kit. show you guys is this is a 9012 bulb and you can see the tabs on it and then this is a 9006 so really they're almost identical and you can use a 9006 in a 9012 but you just have to make one small modification so you'll notice that this tab is a little bit bigger than this tab basically all you have to do is just trim this corner off here and it will fit perfectly even though the top one this one's fatter this one's smaller so it'll still fit but the major thing to make a 9006 work in a 9012 is just trim the corner off here. So that's what we'll do because you won't really find too many 9012 uh, HID or LED kits, but you will find 9006. So basically you take this, like I said, just trim the corner off like that and that's it. Now it works. So now that that's the same size, you can go ahead and put this in there. Okay, so here's the kit again, just once more. Um, so this is coming out of the LED, and then basically this is the factory harness. So you're gonna go ahead and put in your CAN bus decoder, plug that into the LED. You have this, and then last, plug it into the OEM harness, like so. And then basically you just find a way to put all this stuff inside. Okay, so this one's all set. We can go ahead and throw it back in. Okay, let's go ahead and throw these two bolts in and then we'll do the locking tab. Okay, so both headlights are in. Go ahead and throw that grill back in. Okay, throw the four bolts in on the top of the grill. Okay, last step is just to throw this back on. So put this in, and then put all your push clips in place, and that's it, this is done. So here's the finished product. This is how bright these are in the daylight super bright but still look good not too cheesy looking or purple or anything like that um, let's go ahead and take a look at how they look at night and how much light they're throwing Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed that video on the low beam install on the Dodge Ram. Um, I'm probably going to be doing some LED and HID comparisons on the low beam just to see what has the best light output. 
Um, so stay tuned for that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for more videos. We're going to be doing a lot more on the truck. Um, LEDs, headlights, uh, exhaust, intake, a lot of stuff going on. Um, even I'm going to be doing some uh, throttle body stuff too. So lots of stuff happening on the channel. So again, subscribe to keep up to date and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.